guys, I got my new desk. I got my new chair that swivels. Oh my gosh, it's very ergonomic. My old chair was starting to flatten out on the bottom and my back was starting to hurt because I had to put a pillow and a towel and sit on all these layers that were unnecessary for a while. So I got a little egg chair this time around and I got it in gray. They had it in different colors, but I went with gray because I figured it could like match the rest of the decor. So anyway, <laughs> it, it's like it levels up and down. So I'm a little bit bouncy on it. So anyway, hi, you guys. Yes, today, Alexandra is taking a break from her nails. I did my nails in little eggs. I don't know if that really came out like it or not. I don't know. I'm going to my kids' schools this week. So I figured, let me, you know, decorate my nails like Easter. You know, you know. All right, you guys. So today, as you guys can see, I am, I feel like I'm so far away from my stuff because this desk is so big. I am going to share with you guys the palettes that I used in the month of March, and I'm ranking them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine palettes this month. So not 10, but nine, and I got quite a bit of use out of all of these. So, woo, we're gonna get into it, you guys. I'm trying to hurry up because we had a really bad thunderstorm about two nights ago with a tornado going through. We've had quite a bit of neighbors having, um, one of our neighbors almost got a tree hit their house and the other one looks like is cutting down trees today. So I don't want this to sound like there's a bunch of trees. This is why we cut our trees when we first moved in here because we knew living in the woods, trees were gonna fall down. <laughs> so I'm trying to hurry up so you don't hear all the noise of the trees. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing this ranking of this month, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, here we go. I got my little egg out. Do you guys see him? Hi egg. Hi egg. Yes, got my egg out for Easter or for at least the spring season. So yeah, I have swatches of all of these palettes for you guys. It might not be the best swatches. I'm trying different angles in this room to swatch and I got a tweak with it, but hey, we're making it work, right? I got my Easter eyeballs on even though it doesn't match my shirt. I could care less. <gasps> Ooh, it sounded like I squeaked on my floor. I'm still getting used to this chair, you guys. All right, let's get into the ranking. Now, if this is your first time watching my monthly ranking video, this is where I rank palettes that I've used throughout the month. These are palettes that I'm pulling out of my collection or are new to my collection that I have not done a separate video on. None of these have I done a separate video on, um, but I will say, Somebody had to be at the bottom, somebody had to be at the top. Normally, that doesn't mean I will be decluttering the bottom one, but for the first time doing this, I am decluttering the very last palette. Let me tell you why, because I did not like it and it's not worth my time. So I will share with you guys that coming up next. Palette number 10 goes to Odin's Eye Mini Erd palette. Yeah, it's an Erd, it's a dirt. Uh, this palette I kept, and this is the only Odin's Eye palette that I kept that I have had from that whole mystery box last year, a year ago. And I kept it for the color story and I really liked it, but as I pulled it out to play with it again this month, these eyeshadows don't stick to my eyeballs. As much as I try to pack them on with a flat shader brush, a blending brush, these shades just kept blending away. And I will be honest with you, I have these colors all over my makeup collection, all over my wardrobe, all over my palette, so I don't need to keep this. I don't like it, unfortunately, I love the color story, I don't like the formula, and I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Odin's Eye, I've lost all of my want and feel to buy anything from them. The palette, the brands that have been sticking it to me in one way or another, I just completely lose any reconciliation for a while. It takes me a while to like turn and then like try it again. And, and while, I mean years. So uh, you're probably not gonna see Odin's Eye in my collection. So this, it's leaving. Number nine goes to this palette right here. This is the Quad from Revlon. You guys know I got these last month as a gift. This is the Revlon, that's a dub a Quad. I actually am shocked by these. I am shocked. Now not every shade is beautiful on the eyes, but these shimmery shades, like the ones that are metallic -y, are beautiful on the eyes and they last really nicely. I like to layer them with other shadows or shadow sticks or cream shadows. This one, um, they have like satin ones in there, like for instance, this one right here. And that's a nice inner corner one. Um, wasn't a fan of this darker one, but these two, beautiful on the eyes. I really liked it. 
very surprised by this not gonna lie very surprised these can come in handy in like a pinch so i actually like them and i i think at least this one i am going to keep i'm still going to try the other ones out so this is number nine number eight goes to the ColourPop tinkerbell and only it's at the bottom solely because of the color story i like it i don't love it um there are certain shades that i really do like and then other ones i feel like are very close like these two on the eyes it's not that much of a variation these two same thing i feel like they're in the same color family so it's like a monochromatic look i wish there was a little bit more variety again these two here on the eyes they look very similar i feel like it was a very three-way monochromatic uh look with this palette these three right here in the center are the ones that are the, the different ones but as i was using it very pretty looks it's just I don't know it left me wanting more and i know some people love this palette and i think it is still beautiful but it left me wanting more and i just felt like i needed other colors to bring in to kind of change up the look a little bit but it is a pretty palette and the formula is really really nice and i do love the packaging of this one so yeah that one goes at number eight number seven goes to this one the ColourPop off the melrose palette there is one missing because it is a glitter and I have all the glitters in one specific palette of all of my ColourPop ones. So this is what this one looks like and I really, really do like it. This one had nice variety. It had nice changes to it. I could do a light, a night, a nice smoky eye look. I could do a mauve look. I could do a, a brighter, warmer look. And this shade over here is really pretty. It's that blue brown kind of red look but it's really pretty i really liked how this one turned out and it's not too cool tone where i'm just like oh can i not wear this any other time of the year no i could see myself pulling this out pulling some of these shades out for the summertime to make it more neutral based instead of too warm and it's not too cool i really like this palette very very well done color pop this is one of those palettes where i don't see them repeating the color story of so it's, it's unique i really like that one all right top five five goes to this z palette now this z palette is consistent of 95 percent of it is all Too faced with the exception of these five shades right here are urban decay these are all depotted shadows from palettes these are not singles i purchased on my own i depotted old Too Faced palettes like I mean old Too Faced palettes I don't even want to tell you how old but these all still work so beautifully on the eyes oh my goodness I am shocked the colors that I came out with on this palette is just really pretty and this palette does have two pans in it which I'm I'm really appreciative of so all of these very beautiful I dabbled into it I was able to get my green fix in here some of my cooler tone fixes in here very very nice quality I mean like old school eyeshadows i wish were like now because i feel like some old school eyeshadows last so much longer these are very old and they work better than some other brands that i have now that are only a few years old so this is a beautiful palette i i really like it and i can see myself reaching for these warmer shades in the summertime so yeah this is another z palette that i really like i'm digging this one so it, that's why it's at number five because i really liked it and a lot of variety too all right, top four. Number four goes to the Persona Identity Palette. I have the old school cardboard packaging. She reformulated the packaging, not the formula itself. Just redid the packaging to a hard plastic packaging. I actually like the cardboard one better. So this is what this palette looks like and wow. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Every look I came out with, I loved it. Packs a punch, these shimmer shades pack a punch, but they can also be subtle if you just put a light wash on your eyes and they still show up. They're not a satin, but they're not super metallic. They're right in the middle where you could build it up to be a metallic, but you could soften it up to be a satin. This color is definitely my favorite. Oh my goodness, I love this shade. I love that it's still warm and cool toned at the same time. So I didn't feel like I was way too cool toned or it was too much warmth in the palette where I couldn't get away with it now so beautiful so beautiful really really like this palette i understand i understand the hype of some people that have hyped this up it's a very very beautiful palette one that i would recommend for any age and any type of skin type whether you have older or mature eyes that you feel like you know i have too many fine lines this is a really beautiful formula for eyes beautiful really like it number three goes to this one this is the mini gold one i know that some people didn't like this but i really like this one i love the green tones in here and i feel like this is why the 
Odin dye one is out of my collection because I prefer this and I still get the feels of that. So pretty. I can still stick with the neutrals with a pop of some green or I could do a true green look in here. Very, very beautiful. And I reached for this quite a bit this past month for being five pans, reach for this quite a bit. You hear that? It's like my chair and it scares me because I feel like I hear a squeak and it's like an animal and it's my chair. Gotta get used to it. Gotta get used to it, you guys. So really like this palette. That's why it's a number three. I got a lot of use out of it. Ton of use out of this one this past month. And it was quick and easy to the point. Didn't have to fuss with it. Number two goes to a palette that was like my companion palette for the whole month. It really allowed me to, um, get a lot of use out of my pan those eyeshadows or any other eyeshadow that I wanted to use that was a single or a palette that I felt like wasn't 100% complete. This one, the Rock Candy Palette by ColourPop. Wow, really love it. When something wasn't to my liking as far as the um, shimmeriness, the metallic-iness, I would reach for a metallic in here. If I needed a transitional shade that I could, did not get in any other palette where I didn't want it to be too deep, too warm, too cool. Like this palette just had everything. And again, I'm missing the shades that are the glitters. They're inside that palette, but beautiful palette. Wow. Very, very impressed by this one. This one um, just helped me. It wasn't a palette where I feel like I was like, eh, I could do away with. No, it, I saw the, the need for it this past month and I loved every look that came out. The only colors I really didn't use were these down here which is like your gray ones, but these gray ones I actually would use because they're not super gray gray. Overall, I really, really do like it. Some of these shades are rather similar, but I was able to make it work. Like these two as well, I felt like were a little bit similar, but I did like these metallics, dang. Like I really like this palette and I caught myself reaching for it a lot. That's why it's in number two, because it helped me out a lot. Very happy about purchasing that one. That was a good one. And number one. Number one goes to this one. <laughs> and this one surprised me, surprised me because this did not have many great reviews from peers of mine on YouTube and not many people have raved about this one, but I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. That's the mini star one. The mini star by Natasha Denona. I don't know, but this one, oh my gosh. Okay, so I wore, I think it was for my deck of panning, project pan. I wore a green sweater and I wore this palette on my eyes. So many people love that look. They're like the whole entire aesthetic. Beautiful, oh my goodness. I just loved it. Love that it had this green, this duochrome color and then this neutral shimmery shade. But then I was able to always ground it with neutral in my crease make it a smoky eye and then top it with one of these. It's just every time I reach for this one, it was easy to the point. This was so easy, so comfortable to use. The, there was quite a bit of days in the month of March where I just needed to put on makeup and out the door. And this was the palette I was always grabbing for, this one. Cause it was just easy, transitional shade, outer V, and then pick one of the toppers to, if whether I wanted it to be vibrant or sheer. But every time I wore it, it just looked very, put together like I took a lot of time on my eyes and I knew what I was doing. Like I really took a lot of time to do my eyes and it's not, it's just a formula, it's so beautiful. I really like this one. I am surprised that not many people like this one. I did. This one really won me over and this is why it's my number one. I could not stop thinking about this one. I could not stop reaching for this one. I could not stop. I mean like any time that I just didn't want to think about it, this is the one that I reached for. Just wanted to go for it. It was just, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Really, really like this one. I am sad that not many people liked it because I really did. It's a good one. At least in my opinion, for what I needed it for. I wore it for birthday parties. I, I mean, I wore it for hours on end and it still looked beautiful from the beginning to the end. No complaints at all whatsoever. All right, you guys, that is my ranking for this month. One is officially getting decluttered, out the door, peace out, don't want you anymore. Uh, the other ones are staying and I'm really happy. They all were really nice. They went with the March. I didn't go too green this past month. I wanted to still stay in the cool tone uh, family to try to test out uh, more palettes that I haven't touched in my collection. And you guys, it is April and I have yet to buy a palette. What is up with that? By now I would have bought at least two, three palettes. Nothing. I'm just really into this whole journey of trying to find my complexion favorite that I'm just having fun with that, that 
I don't, I'm happy with what I'm reaching for. I'm happy pulling out palettes that I haven't used in a long time, having used at all in my collection and really going for. In April, you'll be seeing a lot of pastels. So a lot of pastel palettes will be pulled out. Ones that I have used, ones that I haven't used, ones even maybe singles that I haven't used that I'm excited for. So that's it. I will have these linked down below if they are still available for you guys. What do you think? Do you agree with my ranking? Which one will be your top three? Uh, are you happy that I'm decluttering that last one? Because I know I am. All right, guys. That's all that I have for you guys today. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, peace out.